Afternoon guys. <coughs> well, I've been busy downstairs again. My uh, Apollo suspension bike is it's in working condition. Um, there's still a few bits I'm going to change in the future. Um, one being the brake levers and the um, brake calipers because uh, they're just the standard Apollo ones and the brake levers are plastic. You know, them plastic ones with like a thin metal bar for reinforcement going through the middle. Crap. And, um, I can't, for some reason, the um, springs won't adjust on the calipers. So, it's working, so I'll just change those as and when I can find some better ones to put on. Um... I've put some bearings in the bottom bracket, but I may end up just putting some brand spanking new ones in. Because uh, every time I take it for a ride, I have to um, adjust the um, bearings and screw the cup in a bit more. But uh, no biggie, I can keep doing that and see if it does settle. Because sometimes they um, do need to settle in. You know, I've had bikes do this before, and then eventually it just stops coming loose and... I think one of the pedal arms are a bit loose as well. One of the crank arms, I should say. Not pedal arms. So I'll just put the ratchet on there and make sure that's all tightened up. <coughs> I've got my Hercules three-speed down there. I'm now about to go back downstairs. Um, adjust the bottom bracket bearings on the Apollo and then, hopefully, get the bottom bracket off the um, Hercules. I hope. And uh, see if I can find some bearings to stick in there. Might be a problem. <laughs> um, especially if they're loose bearings. So I thought I'd just stick the camera on and while well, I'm just letting my dinner go down, or lunch, late lunch, whatever you want to call it. Um, then I'll go downstairs and tackle those jobs again. I'm going to fit in another ambulance going past. I think there's been two or three today already. Um, yeah, I'm going to fit a new brake cable, but I'll do that when I find a new pair of... Um, Calipers and brake levers, because there's no point in me putting on a new cable if I'm um, before I put some um, better calipers and lever on, because I'll just have to take the cable off again. Um, so I'll do that last. I might actually have a look at my box of brake bits downstairs, because I know I threw a load of calipers in there. And I'll take that box down as well, just to um, see if I can make a couple of pairs up. I shouldn't be able to. Oh dear, I feel a bit stuffed at the minute though. <laughs> um, yeah, changed all the tires. Everything was fine. I still have not found my bloody crank extractor tool. And what's the betting that uh, I'll go buy a new one next week and then I'll find the one I've already got. Which is a bad thing. Not really, but it's money I don't particularly want to spend. Not when I've already got the tool. <laughs> I, just, I really cannot remember what I did with it. I remember the last project I used it on. Oh, actually, these brake pads remind me. I actually any... Uh, they're not brilliant though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, oh yeah, and I bought those handlebars, didn't I, from um, my mum's that my big that, that um, Biggles gave me. I had these grip shifts on because I wanted to replace it on the Apollo. Only to go into the box, which is sitting out on the land and on the shelves, and find a left-hand grip shift there. I used the one on the handlebars anyway, because that was a better one. 
but uh, I didn't really need it. I didn't think I had any left ones um, spare. But uh, it appears I did. <laughs> but uh, as I said, I used the one um, that was on the handlebar anyway, just because it was the better one. And I'm really getting ticked off because I can't find that epoxy tool. Oops, that's still charged. Yep, that thing holds charged pretty well. <clears throat> chopped the seat post down. I think I chopped about two and a half inches off the bottom. Um, which has enabled me to lower the seat. I don't know why the seat was that tall anyway. You know, you can get a bloody eight foot person on that bike if you put the seat all the way up. Far too long. Anyway. Uh, really is ticking me off. I can't find it. Nope, it's not up here. Oops. I don't want to break those bulbs if I can help it. I'm throwing it in here, have I? No, I wouldn't have done. It's a tool. I know I'd have put the tool somewhere where I wouldn't lose it. <laughs> You know, somewhere safe. Somewhere so safe that I now can't find it. I can't find the can of polish either. The can of furniture polish that I use to um, just clean down bike frames because it gives the paint a bit of a shine and takes the dirt off. And I know furniture polish doesn't damage the paintwork because if it did, I wouldn't keep using it. <laughs> um, Speaking of that, you can use various different cleaners for that. Um, but I would say just watch out that you don't get or use a cleaner that could damage your paintwork. Because <coughs> no one wants that. I even looked in this box. This bloody ship box. And I can't find it in here either. So I thought maybe when I had a quick clean up, because I've put other things in here. Like that reflector. Loads of reflectors and bike light. Ah, there's a caliber. Bent, but I can straighten that up. Yeah, but uh, actually, that's no better than what I've got on there because, uh, again, it's like the brake levers. Plastic coated with a thin bit of metal in there, hence why it bends easily. But uh, I'll probably take that down and put in my box of um, brakes, etc. as well, just so I know where it is. That's what I should have done with that bloody crank extractor. I keep looking in the same places, you know, in the vain hope that I've missed it. Because uh, Sometimes that does happen with me, and my stepdad's exactly the same, because he did that with some, a tube of solder yesterday. Couldn't find it, and I said, you've probably looked at it ten times, and yeah, he had. It was in the drawer that he'd looked in about ten times. <laughs> but I'd do that. I could look at the same... It may even be in this toolbox, but I've just missed it, so I will actually tip the whole toolbox out and have a look. Chances are, I've uh, thrown it into something, and can't remember what I've thrown it into. Another odd, I want to leave these calipers up here, because they're for a bike I've got up here. It will be when I put it together. When I'm feeling energetic enough. What did I do with the other one? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I put the other one down and what to take downstairs. Now I can't find that one. Uh. Oh, for God's sake. I'm hopeless at times, you know. Really am hopeless. Ooh. Bear brake pad, I could do with a couple of new ones. Oh, go away! 
probably an automatic call from my phone company. Oh, phone bill is overdue. I know it fucking is. I've paid half of it. I can't pay the other half until I've got it. So, sit on it and spin for a little while. Should we have a listen? No, maybe not, because usually that kicks in on the answer phone. Oh, I found it. Found me thingy. I might even have that tool laying up here somewhere, and I just haven't seen it, so... I know it'll turn up. It'll turn up eventually. But uh, if I do decide to put brand new bearings in this bottom bracket, in case I have to, that means I've got to take the crank off again. And it would just be so much easier with the tool. <coughs> uh, well... I would say, if you can, get the proper tools for the job, any type of job. If it requires a specific tool, try and get the tool, because it would make your life a lot easier. <clears throat> now, I know there's always uh, tips and tricks and what not to get around using the, the um, proper tools for the job, if you haven't got them, but... Which is alright if you need to do some emergency work and you haven't got the tool, but if you get the tool, borrow the tool, buy the tool or whatever, get it. I've even looked under my desks here just in case I'd laid it on the desk and it's like rolled down the back, but I couldn't see it. I'm going to take that box down, so that might as well go in there. I've got a box of bits out on the landing go down. Now, I know these batteries are charged, so I'm going to take those out and just lay here. Mm. Oh, pardon me. Um, there's two here. Make them go in here. Ready to be charged. Oh, I don't know where it is. Anyway, I've got to uh, turn the camera off, head downstairs, finish those bits off. Uh, I do need to go to Little at some point. Uh, mostly just for a couple of bottles of cola. I think I'll grab some groceries while I've still got cash. Before I do a stupid thing and spend it all. Because I think one of my biggest personal flaws is, is the fact that I am useless with money. And I often think I've got more in my pocket or my wallet than I actually have. So I go spending it under the false impression that I've got plenty of money still left. And uh, <laughs> it turns out I haven't. So I've done that more times than I care to count. I care to admit even if I did count it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to shut the camera down and uh, go back downstairs and do a bit more work. Um, take the camera with me because I need to take a photo of the uh, Reebok. So, um, I'll talk to you later. I'm back. Well, I've got the photo ready of the Reebok. I have just got to make one teeny weeny adjustment that I didn't realise. I didn't actually look. Um, it's got a six speed three wheel on it, but it's actually a 21 speed. So it's got 21 speed written there. Um, well, that doesn't matter. I've got seven speed three wheels up here. I can soon bung one of those on and uh, and uh, drop will be good. That's not not a problem. I'll just get her open the windows. Had a sunny day. Right, um, the Hercules is done. Didn't need to change the bottom bracket bearings. I managed to, um, take the clock pins out with no problem whatsoever. And, uh, just tighten the cup up and the bottom bracket bearings tightened up. Wheel bearings are fine. I backed off the headstock 
um, curved just a smidge because that was a bit tight. So uh, yeah, it's a perfectly good, usable, very old and tatty bike. <laughs> The Apollo, I tightened up the bottom bracket again. Oh, pardon me, but I haven't used it yet. So, yeah, done. <laughs> um, I will turn the camera off because I just remembered I wanted to uh, drag something into the lounge, which uh, I forgot to do. So, I'll go, go back later. I was just uh, reading something someone tagged me in on Facebook. Anyway, yes, yeah, so I thought I'd just turn the camera back on. He wants some food. Do him in a minute. Got a hair stuck in the back of my throat. Still haven't found a bloody crank extractor. Um. I did find a couple of pairs of um, better V brakes. I hope they're not matching pair. Um, you know, they're not a matching pair. In that, I mean, the front pair won't match the rear pair, and vice versa. So, in other words, it's not. A, you know what I mean. <laughs> so I haven't got two pairs that would match. So I've just got two single pairs. So. Um, I'm not going to put them on yet because I haven't got a brake lever yet, um, a pair of brake levers, and I need a brake cable anyway. And the rear gears seem to sort of change down as and when they feel like it, especially when you get going to third gear. Um. So may want a bit of oil on the gear cable, just to help it slide a bit better. Um, yeah, so apart from building up the other frames I've got to sell and I've done, I've done with the bikes for the time being. I'll um, list this Reebok up this evening. It is actually quite a nice bike. I do like it, but I've already got a hard tail, which I like more than this one, so. Oh crap, I better take a measurement of the frame. <laughs> Forgot to do that while I was down there. Because that's one of, the, one of the most common questions I get asked what's the frame size? So, I will, uh. I'm gonna guess it's probably an 18 inch frame in that region you know, it's quite a small frame I hope it's not a smoke alarm I can hear that one nope it's an alarm out back that's alright well it's not alright because it's an alarm out back but it's not a smoke alarm Probably an alarm on one of the buses going off. Oh, I haven't got a reflector on the front wheel. I'll have to rectify that. Otherwise, it's going to look odd. I've got plenty of wheel reflectors in my box. Ooh. I went off for about a second, then started again. Stupid bloody alarms. Anyway, what I'm going to do. I've still got a Lidl's run to do, but I'm not going to do that yet. That's because I know the queues will still be queued up. I'll go when it's quiet. So that's one of the annoying things with Lidl's. 
when it's busy, because it is such a popular store and it's not really the staff's fault, you do end up queuing at the checkouts. That's what us British do best, apparently. <sighs> but uh, I'm not actually in the mood for queuing like that at the moment, so... And I'm not in desperate need for anything, you know, I've still got coke I can drink. So I can wait an hour or two. And it's 8 o'clock, it closes, and it's now 5.20. 20 minutes past 5. 5 and 20, however you want to say it. So I'll go a bit later. Have a bit of light on the subject. Right. Ah. That's the bike I want over here. Not sure how I'm going to get it out. <laughs> um, I'm not even sure what it needs. Chain and dragons. Yeah, I may not have one of those. Um, well, what I'm going to do is I'll shut the camera off and I'll uh, yank, all the, yank this frame out here. And uh, see what bits it needs. And if I don't have a hanger, which I might not have, I'll uh, take the V brakes off of that one and the brake levers, and uh, I'll stick them on the Apollo. Uh, if I've got a couple of pounds left that I have to change, I've got, or when that Reebok sells, whichever comes first, I'll um. Get a brake cable and put some better quality brakes on that. Reminds me, I need a seven speed three wheel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, there's one option. See, I told you. I could do that tomorrow or something. That won't take two minutes to stick a three wheel on it. So that's all I've got to change. I'll just change the free wheel on the wheel. Uh, I've got a 7 speed with an overdrive first gear, but it's in that yellow tub in the outside cupboard which has got wheels and all sorts on top and I can't really be asked to uh, go fishing in there at the minute. Um, I might do. So I did keep it for myself, but I'm not going to use it. It's not that often I use um, seven-speed free wheels. Um, I'll have a look in that bag and see what c condition the other one is in. So uh, give me a few minutes and I'll be back. <laughs> well, I've dragged it out. Um, I've got the cover missing on this grip shift, and I'm not sure I've got another one. Uh, not like this one anyway. I don't think I'll have to have a dig through my um, box of gear shifters. I might have an odd one lurking in there somewhere. I'm just, uh, let's see. Oh, nice view of the carpet there. Sorry about that. It's got a Make a bit of room. Let's see if I've got a drop out that will fit the frame. And uh unfortunately they're all in here. Nope. Nope. Oh close. Close but no. Close, but no. <sighs> no. I've got a funny feeling it's going to be a resounding no. I'm sure I had more than that. Oh. Oh. Um. Right. I'll see.
seem to have a few missing from the box. I guarantee, even if I did find them, they won't fit, so... Let's just scrape all this up and... Oh shit. Scrape all this up and, uh... Well, I have to just find another one, but... No. So, what I'm gonna do... I will, eventually. Um, take the brakes off of this and the brake levers, and I'll fit those to the Apollo because they're um, better brakes. There's some paint chipped off of that one over there, but I'm not too fussed about that. The frame is good, so, and I well, the frame is a good frame. A few marks there, but um. It's a good frame, so I'll keep that as a future project. In fact, I could take the brakes off now. Actually, I might do that this evening. Take the brakes off and, uh... Put the frame back in the cupboard out of the way. And bring the Optima out, as that's the next one I want to tinker with. But I'll probably do all that tomorrow, because, um... I've got to dig deep in the cupboard, because, uh... I've got to go find the forks to go with it. Because <laughs> they're up on the back shelf. So, yeah, that's a nice track frame. Um, unfortunately, the stem's stuck in there, so I can't get that over. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter too much. Um, anyway, I think that's it for today's vlog. Um, I've got all the wheels to do this. Um, I've managed to get together several pairs. Um, well, I think there's 700s that go in this. It could be 26s. I don't know. <laughs> I might drop a wheel in for the hell of it and see if a 26-inch one will fit. Uh, these brake pads don't look... No, the brake pads are fucked. Or at least they are in the rear, anyway. Well, that doesn't matter, because I've got a bundle of them downstairs. But, uh... Yeah. What brakes are they? Tektro? Yep, Tektro brakes. I'll do. They're half-decent brakes. It's got some nice um, adjusters on there. Anyway, the battery's getting flat, so... I'm going to tr shut this down, transfer the video across... Well, I've actually got a few ideas for some more videos. So, as always, thanks for watching. And, uh, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. And, uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe for more daily videos. And, uh, I'll talk to you again soon.